All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. You know, it is truly Christmas in July when you have Denise Mendiola in studio talking about small business development, investment, evolvement, <laughs> and everything. Basically, basically, just being a good business person. Thank you. So we're, we're happy to have you here, obviously, like once again. And, and you're talking about a interesting topic um, tonight that I think a lot of people kind of misinterpret, but we're talking about microcredit and an event coming up about that. Yes, microcredit. Thanks, Jason, for having me. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a while. Okay. I, so hope, I hope your parking space up front was like properly cleaned. It, yes, thank you. It, it looks perfect. All right. So at the Yoji Guam Small Business Development Center, we are conducting a 12-week microcredit training program, and it's completely free. This time, it's different. It's designed for people with disabilities mm -hmm. who want to explore self-employment. So that means they want to start a business, and maybe they are not sure how to get started. Maybe they don't have funds in order to get started. So we put them through this training program that um, introduces them to business. You know, so if you have a skill, you have an, a great idea maybe, and you're just not sure if it's going to work, then you come over to the center. We put you through the 12 weeks of Wednesdays, and then you learn everything from personal finance to how to write a business plan to, you know, how do I price my products, things like that. Which is not by definition, rocket science, but it's a lot harder than people probably give it, you know, credit for or micro credit for. Yeah, I think the hardest part uh, from what our clients say is is just getting started. Um, mm -hmm. They have this great idea, they just don't know how to implement it. And so, uh, what they like is to be able to have that guidance, somebody that coaches them through, uh, maybe giving them some ideas of how other people have done it, and uh, looking at their situation. And, and again, we're talking about people with disabilities that have um, certain barriers to enter. So, what we do is we work with the um, the skills that they have and considering the barriers that they have. We talk to maybe resource partners um, like um, DISID, DVR. Uh, we have uh, CEDARS at UOG, uh, GSAT, the uh, Guam Assistive Technology mm -hmm. Program. So those all can come into the picture and wrap, basically wrap around that person so that we can assist them to be able to get started. Mm -hmm. Now, if I were a smart man, and I certainly am not, I would try and break down. You are down, so smart. Uh, well, and, and you lie like a rug, so <laughs> thank you though. Uh, I would try and break, you know, the entomology of microcredit. Is does this mean it's credit with a with a very finite limit? Um, you know, you can't apply for like say a quarter million dollar you know loan or anything like mm -hmm. that. It's, it's a very there is a very distinct ceiling to it. Is that what microcredit yeah, that, means? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so the idea is that um, you know traditional traditional banks don't give you a hundred dollars to start a business. That's just not how it works. So microcredit, in the sense, is it bridges the gap between you getting $500 and then going to the bank when you're bankable to be able to borrow $5,000. So Pacific Islands Microcredit Institute is a nonprofit organization that we started out at the university. And so now what that organization provides are microloans. So the people that graduate from this program automatically qualify for these microloans. So it gives them an opportunity to get $500 to buy, say, a piece of equip equipment, uh, like maybe a sewing machine or you know, a used um, bush cutter or something mm. like that and then they can at least get started because most people like with like on Guam they're starting this out they're happy to be small businesses and you know like to have like a little bit of a man manageable schedule and they're not looking to be fortune 500 corporations exactly. like within the next two years and they don't need like a 25 million dollar you know series a round of funding no no they don't need investors and they don't need to go pub, you know public offerings they don't right. need to do that they just need to be able to pay their bills and feed their family right. and so at the very simplistic sense these people will make you know a couple hundred dollars maybe a week and that helps them to you know pay some bills hopefully get them out of uh, you know subsidy programs and then it builds up their credit so that they can eventually become bankable if they do decide to get a loan later on. So the, the theory, correct me if I'm understanding this right, but the theory is smaller amounts of loans that you can build upon, smaller amounts of debt that you can hopefully pay back easier and then, you know, more managed growth instead of saying, yeah. you know, I'm going to bet the farm and, you know, like, let's yeah. try and make this work and then, you know, if it doesn't, we have to declare Chapter 13 and, you know, go through a whole exactly. mess of stuff. Okay. Exactly. So the risk is not high and it's like the ladder uh, strategy, mm. so you build it as you go. And so um, what they do is they keep building their, their um, assets and then keep going until they're it's to the point where they actually become a regular business. Well, this is fantastic. And even though we're dealing with microcredit, I'm major in. So <laughs> how, how can we participate? How can we avail of this knowledge? Best thing to do is to call our office at 735-2590, best way to find us. Um, then they can also register online at pacificsbdc.com. And at the very least, the invaluable thing is they get to meet you and 
bonus. <laughs> yeah, get, get advice from you and everything like that. And then, Actually, my clients hate me, but you know, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> that's a great attitude to have. No, she, she is wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> like the Jillian of uh, business startups, you know, you tell them <laughs> the way it is, but well, it, you know, it gives them a, a better understanding before they actually throw themselves into the water. Well, and your, your experience and your knowledge in this, uh, this domain is certainly going to help people that are just getting started. So thank you very much. Thank you for All having right. us. All right, we'll see you there. Okay. And that is going to do it, everybody. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next time. Closed captioning is brought to you by 